What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, we need to take a quick chat. Take a few minutes. Have a bit of a chat. About some Digimon TCG cards that are selling out. You see, New Evolution as a set, as a series of boxed product, has been selling out over in Japan. It's been doing extremely well. And when sealed product starts to sell out, we then turn our attention to single products, to single cards that you can buy separately, because essentially the first ones of those that are selling out are either the best cards, or they are the presumed best cards, they are the ones that people are getting very excited about. So we probably need to take a little bit of a look at which ones are selling out, and maybe have a chat as to why this might be. And we do need to give a massive shout out as we start here to the lovely DTCG review over on Twitter. And I know they're lovely because I used their information in a video a few days ago. And they messaged me on Twitter going, hey, thanks for the shout out. If there's ever anything you need, give me a shout or help in any way you can. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a sign of a very lovely person. So... As far as we can see at the moment, there are basically six cards that have gone and sold out all over. And let's start off with Vidramon. Now, Vidramon has actually sold out both as a regular art card and as an alternate art card. It is extremely difficult to go and get hold of. The alternate art is still available in a couple of places. But certainly the regular art has gone and sold out. Vidramon is becoming nearly impossible to get hold of. Why is that? It turns out it's actually a really, really good card. And I'll be honest with you, right, ladies and gentlemen, I told you I didn't think it was that great. When we first looked at it, I wasn't terribly impressed. Bearing in mind it is a new game, right? Nobody really knows anything, let's be clear. But I looked at the card initially and said I wasn't terribly impressed. Because when you attack, you make yourself active, but only if there's a tamer. And then you've got 6,000 power. So if you attack the security stack, there's a decent chance you're going to get KO'd so you can't make yourself active. And you've got an inheritable skill which gives an extra 1,000 power if there's a blue tamer in play. But then again, we've seen other cards like Agumon that just... Give an extra 1,000 power, which do seem quite a lot better. Here's the thing, though. I was not given this enough credit. Firstly, as we saw in the deck I showed you yesterday, there is Emerald Blaze, a one-cost blue option card that gives your Digimon an extra 3,000 power. And that is until end of turn, so if you're using Vidramon more than once, you get to activate this skill more than once. And also... Making yourself active is probably the most powerful skill in the game. And here's why I feel a bit silly. Because I have told you in multiple videos that making yourself active is the best skill in the game. And yet I criminally underrated a six cost card that can make yourself active. You can play it normally as a six cost. If you use Emerald Blaze, you basically got a seven cost. Which has got 9,000 power and can attack twice. This is already turning into one of the best cards in the game. I did show you a couple of days ago or yesterday a deck which kind of swarmed blue cards. And this was very much at the center of that deck. And this is why Vidramon is just full on selling out. Speaking of which, the alternate art Gabumon. Yeah. The alternate art Gabumon is not one that I would be looking at selling out, quite frankly, in New Evolution. Wasn't on my list of cards that I had to pick up immediately. Here's the thing, though. You know I showed you that blue deck yesterday, and there is a bit of hype around this blue deck, evidently. It's a free cost, and when you play it, you draw a card. Now, one of the points I made in the video yesterday was, essentially, you are hatching a Digi Egg every two turns. Because at the beginning of your turn, you can either hatch an egg, or, if it's evolved up to level 3 or above, move it from the raising area onto the battlefield. So, one turn you hatch the egg, next turn you move it out, and then you hatch and you move out, hatch and you move out. Every other turn you get a new Digi Egg. Which means a lot of level 3s are going to be played normally, not evolving, paying the cost. And if you're doing that, how about a free cost that draws you a card when you play it, and make you a little bit more consistent as a deck. 
And then, of course, you've just got the fact that it's alternate art, which means it's the better, fancier, nicer version of it. And bearing in mind that Gabumon is a fairly popular Digimon as it goes anyway, and I think there we've got our explanation as to why this is selling out. It's a good card of a Digimon that people love that is getting more and more hype as time goes by. Now, War Greymon is another one that is starting to sell out. Now, it is important to note that you can pick up the regular War Greymon. It's just becoming more and more difficult to pick up the full art, the alternate art War Greymon. And let's be clear, it's still not exactly easy to pick up that one. Now, I'm still underwhelmed by this card. I still don't think this is a phenomenal card. You get security attack plus one until end of turn when you evolve. And if a security check reveals an option card, it doesn't activate. But if it's a Tamer, it does activate. And if it is a Digimon, you're still attacking. Maybe I'm not giving this card enough credit. Because you've got 11,000 power, so you give yourself even the littlest of boosts, something like an Agumon, and the chances of being KO'd by a security Digimon are extremely low. Then, you start adding in the fact that option cards don't do anything, and actually all that happens is, if they flip a Tamer, then they do get to play it. And we've got a whole bunch of cards like Gaia Force, for instance, whereby if they are flipped, you just get to destroy a Digimon. They're extremely powerful cards, and you just get to turn them off right now. And maybe War Greymon is a lot better than I'm giving it credit for. Now, War Greymon is also a very, very popular Digimon, so that would also start to explain why it is becoming harder to get. My general rule, and this is not a hard and fact science, it's more of an opinion based on stuff I've seen in the past. If a card is really, really playable, the cheaper versions will sell out faster. If a card is really sought after and collectible, the fancier versions do tend to sell out a little bit faster. Of course, that does get skewed when the really good players also want to get the really fancy artworks, but that's my theory on War Greymon, at least for the time being. Another card which is selling out is Hercules Kabuterimon. And this one is very much because of the whole playability factor. I think this is a really, really good card. Now, it is one of those level 6 green Digimon. And it's got piercing. And when you attack, you may pay free memory and make it active. And this basically does a couple of things. First of all, if you've got enough memory, this goes nuts. Because Piercing says you attack a resting Digimon, and if you destroy it, obviously if you get destroyed, you're gone. But if you destroy it, you then get to perform a security check. So having a big, powerful Digimon with Piercing basically means you get to take out all the resting Digimon, while also taking out security cards, you're no longer being asked to choose between those two things. You just get to take out both of them basically at the same time. That's kind of awesome. But you also get to make yourself active. So in theory here, we're talking about a card which can take out three resting Digimon while performing three security checks all in the same turn. That's Radonk. Not to mention, of course, even if... And we've seen in the FAQ. I did cover the FAQ in a bit of detail. If you run out of memory during your attack, then at the conclusion of the attack, it will go to your opponent's turn, even though you've just made yourself active. But don't worry about it. Because now you're active and your opponent cannot take you down next turn because they can only attack you if you're resting. Oh. Oh, well, look how that worked out. Now, the other one which is starting to sell out here is Rosemon. Interestingly enough, it is the regular art which is selling out. The alternate art is becoming difficult to get hold of, but it is the regular art which is actually selling out here. Now, this again, going by my theory, basically tells us that that means this card is playable and is selling out because people are after it. Because they want to put it in decks. Put that with Hercules Kabuterimon, and I must be super clear about this, we are extremely early. And most shops are closed at the moment, so we're not running tournaments anyway because of the, what's going on in the world. But this basically does tell us that actually... Green decks are starting to get a little bit of hype. 
Now, what Rosemon does, it's another level 6 green Digimon. And when an opponent's Digimon attacks the player or the security, if Rosemon is at rest, you rest one of your opponent's Digimon. Yeah, if they're resting, they can't attack. And if they're resting, they can't block. And this all happens during their turn, so it's coming into your turn. Obviously, at the beginning of their turn, they make themselves active. But if you make them active during your turn with Rosemon, they will be resting during your turn where they can be attacked. And then we've got all of those green cards that take advantage of resting Digimon. And you can probably start to see why Rosemon is becoming pretty gosh darn popular. And then finally, and this is the one that really surprised me. The Patamon from the promo pack is starting to sell out. And this is super confusing to me, right? Because the promo pack as a whole has really not held much value. It's been given out in a bunch of different places. I told you in the price watch we did a couple of days ago that this card can be picked up for like less than a dollar. Before it sold out, it was sitting at a price around about 74 cents. You were literally picking it up for three quarters of a dollar. And now it's gone and sold out. And maybe it's because Patamon is a very popular Digimon. I know I love him. But is it more popular than Agumon? And bearing in mind, Agumon's also got that phenomenal artwork where he's got all those other Digimon behind him and is holding a Digimon card. This is going to go down as one of the more popular cards we ever see. It is awesome from a collectible standpoint. So why is Patamon selling out? Well, it's a four-cost card, and when you play it normally, if your security is one or less, you recover one. I.e., you take a card from the top of your deck and put it down as a face-down security card. Maybe this is the reason. Remember, a lot of the level threes, as I said a moment ago, you're going to end up having to just play normally anyway. So why not? And recovery is good. Means that you're... We'll put it this way, right? If your opponent just has to attack to win the game, you play this down and all of a sudden they've got to take out a security card and then attack. But I do find it interesting that this is the only yellow card we've seen that is actually selling out. And it is the only promo card. So this is the one that really confuses me. I don't think it is collectible more than the other promos to make it sell out. And I don't think it is playable more than any of the other yellow cards to make it sell out. For the time being, ladies and gentlemen, on this one and this one alone, colour me just a little bit confused. As I said at the beginning of the video, but it does bear repeating now, do make sure you check out DTCG Review over on Twitter. Do make sure you go and give them a follow. We are going to be analysing the data they are putting out on a semi-regular basis whenever interesting things happen like today. But they are definitely worth a follow for the raw data they're putting out. So they're and lovely person, like I said earlier. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. These are the Digimon cards that are selling out. Remember that it has been confirmed that New Evolution is going to see a reprint. It is going to be printed more. So one of the things you do need to bear in mind, things are likely to sell out more and more quickly right before the reprint, and then the reprint will flood cards back onto the market and things will get a little bit easier. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to know what you think about these cards. I want to know if any of these sellouts surprise you. I want to know which ones you agree with and kind of saw coming. So let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, where we talk Digimon and a whole bunch of other card games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, all kinds of fun things. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wassy Plays.